I'm your host, Zach. This part of the compendium will be focusing on board costume design, from concept to production in the TNG era, and the differences as the Borg appear in Voyager and First Contact. Mrs. Wood worked on the 1983 documentary Behold Hawaii when she was employed by McGilroy Freeman Films, which was also involved in the production of the Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future, according to research done on IMDb, so it is possible that she was influenced during her time there. The Borg, as introduced in Dorinda Rice Wood's concept sketches, were influenced by Swiss artist H.R. Geiger. Mr. Geiger is known for his art depicting what some have called a cold biomechanical relationship. Dorinda Rice Wood was nominated alongside William Ware Thice for the 1989 Emmy Award in Outstanding Costume Design for the series Star Trek The Next Generation. The episode Elementary Dear Data, the late Mr. Thice, who passed away in 1992 at the age of 61, won the award for the previous year in 1988 for his work on the TNG episode, The Big Goodbye. Dorinda Ricewood was the costume designer for Star Trek The Next Generation at the time of the Borg's introduction. She was commissioned to create the Borg's cybernetic appearance. Using tubing, she was able to make each drone appear to be unique in frame at a distance, along with using different components to give their various appendages a different look, presumably to reflect that drone's specialization. She had wanted to make them more green, however limitations with late 1980s filming technology made them appear more black. Only in 1996 had tech caught up to be able to create the more modern style of Borg appearing in First Contact and Voyager. In First Contact, set in the year 2373, there was a vast change and improvement in the look of the Borg. Production designer Herman Zimmerman hired Ricardo Delgado, a former contributor to Deep Space Nine to work on the concept art of the reimagined Borg. Delgado contributed a few ideas before being hired by Disney. The Queen was designed by Deborah Everton, who also did many costumes on the film First Contact, with the notable exception of the newer style Starfleet uniforms. Her concept was to make it appear as if they had been assimilated from the inside out, opposed to the earlier process of outside in. Consequently, the makeup process ballooned from two hours in the next generation to over five for the film. Major changes to the Borg's costume included the discontinuation of a helmet-style connection of technology to the drone's brain, replacing it with individual components connected to multiple points on the cranium. Also, other than nearly human or exclusively human drones, we see the first evidence of the Borg assimilating other species, such as Bajorans, Klingons, Bolians, Vulcans, and many others. This was done for fun according to an interview with Michael Westmore. They had put Bajoran facial prosthetics on a few drones, and there was even an assimilated Cardassian, who makes a few short appearances. The days of the chalky appearance and seemingly external implants were replaced with sweaty gray skin, with visible blood vessels and implants that originate from within the body, much closer to the original intentions of Dorinda Ricewood seven years prior. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Borg Compendium on Subspace. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy it, please give us a like and consider subscribing to On Subspace if you haven't already. The art used in the production of this episode was created by me, and you can view it on my Facebook page, Infinite Iterations. There's a link in the description. Also, we do have a Patreon if you'd like to help us out by becoming patrons, and we'd be able to do a little bit better with the production, upgrade the computers and the like. Next up in the compendium is going to be the assimilation process, and it's going to be taking on more of a lore perspective as opposed to purely production-based, as the first two episodes have been. We look forward to seeing you next time here on Subspace. I'm Zach, and thank you for watching.